Mina san, konnichiwa, and welcome to a retro play of Mega Turrican. And this is like one of the first ever video games I've ever played. Like, I think my granddad had it, and I think my dad had it as well. So, yeah, this is like one of the first video games I've ever seen. And actually played, but I wasn't good at it at first. Yeah, so here's the storyline here. Buy some kind of machine. And I don't know why. I know it's kind of weird. It's like some kind of like machine alien that just destroys things and tries and conquers all, all that. And then you play as this hero with like skeleton armor. Um, He plays Bran, and damn, check out his jaw, like, his freaking chin. Like, you could smash, you could use that as a weapon, you know what I mean? But yeah, he's got like some kind of, uh, and those exoskeleton suit of armor, and he has to save a girl. I don't know why he has to be a young, beautiful girl. Can't be an old man or a little kid, a little boy. He has to be a young, beautiful girl because, you know, he has to save her, oh, and maybe he's like, Oh, maybe I can get a waifu out of it, but okay. But yeah, so I think it's by a Western studio, but they were inspired by anime and that kind of aesthetic. So they had that kind of style. So yeah, and it kind of shows really. It, it shows that it's it shows a lot. So yeah, Megatoric and it's like a arcade style uh, side-scrolling shooter, kind of like Metroid. So, like, you've got these robots here, and you can choose, like, uh, I like the main enemies, like robots. So, that's your weapons. You get red, blue, and green, depending on what kind of color it is. It changes the weapon. You can jump on their heads, which is kind of cool. I think the main thing is the, uh, the grappling hook or something. Some kind of rope. I'm trying to get used to controls, because I've not played this in, like, a long time. Yeah, that's right. You can swing using this grappling hook thingy. And I think you can roll as well, like Metroid, like. So yeah, very Metroid inspired. But that's the main gimmick of this game, is using the hook, or the rope, and swinging and stuff. So yeah. Very basic, very simple, but it's fun. It's very hard though. And if I can, yep, there we go, jump on that. Yeah. I don't know how to beat those things, so I'm just gonna... I don't know, I think they got super armor or something. I like the sound effects. One thing for sure, if you've noticed, is like the music. The music is so good. Okay, that's the shield. If you notice, the music is really good. And the soundtrack's so good to this. I think here comes the boss. I think it's like a sub-boss, the centipede. Whatever. I don't know why it's moving like that. Maybe it's swimming in the air or I don't know. I don't even know what his exo suit is. I think it's just protective armor. So yeah, I think you've got also got smart bombs as well. So you've got three smart bombs you use. So yeah, it's quite a lot to the game. Oh, I'm dead. I can still carry on. I'm trying to beat this thing. Graphically, it was really good for its time. For what it was. Yeah, I beat it. So, do I go this way? Do I have to jump? Or do I get through that? Yeah, as you can see, like Metroid is like Samus. You can roll into a ball and... Oh! No, 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 that's not good. Um, how do I beat this thing? It's got like armor or something. Okay, I don't think... There's a way to be it. Okay, I'm not going there. So I have to look around. It's been ages. I don't even know what this place is. It looks like some weird bio factory thing or something. I'm still trying to get used to controls. There it is. Yeah, that's the smart bomb. Use the smart bomb. I'll be honest, the level design is kind of weird. 
for him. Nope, I don't go that. I don't even know why. We go up here. It's it's different. Oh, you gotta get used to your jumps. But yeah, it's very platform heavy this game. It's not just shooting, it's like really platform heavy. Using the the string rope, whatever it is, and just swinging and jumping and shooting. So yeah, that's a lot. I can see why it was really popular for its time. Was it popular? I'm not even sure. I remember... Yeah, it had to be popular. Like, this is one of many games. I think it's the bath game. So like, got Turrican, Turrican 2, Mega Turrican, or, you know, stuff like that. Super Turrican. I think it's kind of like a western style Metroid. What? Okay, so... I okay. That's what games were like years ago, you know, you, you got crushed so easily. Okay, touching them. Takes away my energy. So, uh, it's kind of weird, I don't even know what's going to kill me or not. Like, I know I know the enemies are going to kill me, but I don't know how they're going to kill me. I'm dead, so I've got to continue. Wait a second, do I have to do it all over again? I'm at the start of the... There's no chat point? Wow, that's, that's hardcore. Oh, wow, there's nothing in here, the green stuff. Gotta go green. I changed again. Okay. Never mind. Let's go. Wow, this is difficult. Not the hardest game I played. It's just it's been that long since I played it. I don't know why. I think this is one of the games that made me like you know exoskeleton body armor suits and stuff. Not the best, but uh, there's better games out there. But yeah. I can't really remember now, it's been that long what is the first game I've ever played. And I, well, I know what the first game I've played was, it was Zombies, Ain't My Neighbors. First game I've ever seen was Strider. I think this is like the second, I think this is the second game I've seen, but it wasn't really the one I played. Can I jump on that? I'm not gonna do it. For some reason there's some crystals, I think they're a point system. I'm gonna have to like collect them. Normally in like years ago when you had a point system it was just you get a certain amount of points and you get a life like a life up. Depending on how high your score was. So, like Sonic for example. You get rings, oh, I can't believe I got hit. Alright, I'm gonna have to change. Maybe I can just play like that and just eat the hits. Okay, smart bomb. Yeah, I should use the smart bomb from the get go. That's what I should have done. Ah, uh, okay. Smart bomb that. I don't know why I just wanted to because it was annoying me. Still trying to get used to controls. It's bit awkward so I'm playing this on keyboard I'm not playing it on um, the, the pad so I'm like really so I'd rather play this on pad than, than the keyboard it's kind of difficult there we go I know it's kind of it's more like Contra Contra is more like heavy it feels more like Metroid. It's very basic. Really basic on what, what it is. Well, for, for it, now it's very basic, but I think for its time it was a, a decent action game. My dad really liked it. My dad liked these kind of action games. He liked shooting. And then when it went to first person shooting games, he did one of them. I can't remember that was this game where you played a... It was like kind of like Terminator, but it wasn't. I think you played a cyborg and it was like a fur, first person shooter, kind of like Doom, but it wasn't. 
god, I can't remember what, what it was. It was kind of sci-fi heavy. I'm sure it was a, a Sega game. Because graphically, it wasn't that great. I think it was like Rotor? Not Rotor Sculpt, what is it? This little thing. Oh, there we go. Okay. The level designs are okay. This is kind of weird. I know that it's a level, that's a sewer level, and you have some pretty decent levels in this, but so far I'm kind of struggling. I forgot. This is kind of difficult. This is a difficult game. Because there's a lot to it. But like I said, it's mainly platforming. I can just go down here and just. Okay, life up on my energy. I think they can kill me if I jump on them. The yellow. Ah, uh, yeah, what's that? Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, that's how I do it. Got hit. I'm on. My platform heavy. I'm going to jump. Yeah. So that's a madness. It really is. boss. It's kind of a boss, I'm dead. Oh, I'm gonna end it here. Anyway, so yeah, it's it's okay. It's it's difficult. I rem can't remember, but yeah, that's Magga Turrican. So yeah, thank you for... Yeah, that's Magga Turrican. Thank you for watching and uh, like, share, 